touted as the slimmed down monarchy's secret weapon, someone to continue the royal family's legacy. And as Lady Louise once again stepped into the spotlight at her grandmother Queen Elizabeth's funeral, it was clear to see that she is lining herself up as a valued member of the firm, particularly now that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in America and her uncle, Prince Andrew, is very much unlikely to make a return to senior royal duties. So how much do we know about this unassuming 18-year-old and what does her future hold? The late Queen and Prince Philip had four children, King Charles, and the Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, and finally, Prince Edward. Prince Edward began dating PR agency boss Sophie Rhys-Jones in 1993, and the pair married six years later at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The Earl and Countess of Wessex have two children. Lady Louise Alice Elizabeth Mary Mountbatten Windsor was born prematurely in 2003. Her younger brother, James Mountbatten Windsor, Viscount Seven, arrived by caesarean section in 2007. Lady Louise and her brother are the Queen's youngest grandchildren and sit 15th and 14th in line to the throne, respectively. Born on November 8th, Lady Louise spent her childhood largely out of the spotlight at the family's £30 million Bagshot Park home, just a few miles from Windsor Castle. As the Queen's fourth and youngest son, her dad, Prince Edward, was given less responsibility than his elder siblings. And by extension, his family was also afforded a much more low-key existence. Unlike her older cousins, Princes William and Harry, Louise was able to see a lot more of her grandparents growing up because she has always lived just a stone's throw from Windsor, where the Queen and Prince Philip spent a large amount of time after scaling back their long travel engagements. Her first major royal outing came at the age of nine, when she was a bridesmaid at Kate and William's wedding in 2011. Over the last two years, Lady Louise has taken on an increasingly public role, as her parents, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, have been bumped up the royal food chain. The teenager was front and center in the Platinum Jubilee celebrations and joined her parents at the Commonwealth Games, as well as making her successful TV debut in a documentary about her beloved grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh. When we would go carriage driving, well, first of all, he'd take me on a different route every day, and I do not know how he managed to do that. But he would also tell me all sorts of anecdotes about absolutely anything and everything. He is honestly one of the most interesting people I've ever met. Lady Louise and Prince Philip bonded over their love of carriage driving, and the late Duke of Edinburgh took great pleasure in watching his granddaughter compete at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Lady Louise, in fact, paid tribute to him by driving the prince's carriage during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. And the modest royal has certainly proved she's not afraid of hard work. After finishing her A-levels in June 2022, she picked up a minimum wage job at a garden center, working behind the till and greeting customers, as well as pruning and potting plants. She took the role ahead of a move to Scotland, where she will study English at St Andrews, which is where the Prince and Princess of Wales first met. After the Queen's death, Lady Louise joined her family for a walkabout at Balmoral, looking at the floral tributes left by grieving members of the public. Days later, she appeared at Westminster Hall with her cousins to stand vigil in scenes that echoed the vigil of the princes completed by their parents the evening before. Lady Louise has previously been described as Her Majesty's favorite grandchild. And as her uncle King Charles moves forward with his plans for a slimmed down monarchy, without Harry and Meghan, who knows what the royal future might hold for this quiet, horse-loving teenager.